Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and on today's video, we'll be taking a look at a very, very cool USB wireless docking station for your laptop, PC, or possibly even your Mac. Keep watching to find out more. Okay, so in today's video, we'll be taking a look at the Cotney USB Type C, also wireless charging USB hub. I'm not entirely sure how you'd pronounce this or even why they would put so many features into a device, but certainly is very handy. And this was actually sent to us by Ugly Bob, Flat Earth Santa himself. So thank you very much, Bob, for that. He actually bought one for himself for using with his laptop and his docking station at work. So he thought it'd be a nice idea to send one over to us. And actually, this is a very cool device. It is a kind of a master of all things. So if like me and many others, you've got various devices and you want to plug them in and do various things, or maybe just like you've got a plain laptop on your desk, but there's other things you want to have plugged into it, such as maybe um, you want to be able to charge your phone, you want to be able to swap files, you want to be able to use your compact flash cards, CF cards, all that kind of stuff, or maybe you want to use some power delivery, many, many other things, Ethernet, VGA, you name it, there's an absolute ton of things on here, but we're going to go through today. Have a look at the unboxing process, see what this is all about, uh, see what it could do to help out your busy lives and also connectivity issues and uh, see if it's right for you. So we're gonna look at the box first of all. So this is the packaging. So as you can see, it's a 13 in one USB-C hub, plug and play. And it is very much a plug and play experience. There's no drivers or nothing included and none are actually needed. On the bottom of the box, it goes through some of the things which actually supports, of which there are many. So you've got wireless charging, two USB 3.0s, one USB 2.0, one HDMI, one VGA, one RJ45, one times 3.5 mm audio, a USB Type-C PD power delivery up to 100 watts, one trans flash slot, one SD slot, one times USB C 3.0 data transfer, and also a USB C 2.0 data transfer. Wow, that's a lot of stuff. And actually on the back of the box, it explains it much better than I ever could. So you can see there exactly all the things you can plug in and you can pretty much plug all those in at the same time should you want to. This is an absolutely insane device. It is made from a combination of plastic and aluminium. So most of it, the actual outer shell is aluminium. So if you're maybe gonna kind of fold this up, throw it in a bag somewhere to take with your laptop, it's gonna be absolutely fine. Should withstand pretty much most knocks and bumps. And also the fact that it's aluminium, even though there is no rubber pads on the bottom of it, it does kind of stick to the desk reasonably well. So you're gonna notice straight away, one of the key things about this is this part here. So this is your wireless charging. So this is a Qi charger. So this is gonna provide up to 15 watts of power for charging. And it's basically so simple. Literally, you've got a USB type C on here, so you can plug it into your USB enabled device. So plug that in on the side there. It's recognized it already and all you need to do with your wireless device, if it supports Qi charging, just plonk it on the top and that's it. It's starting to charge already. So that is very cool straight away. So being able to charge your phone, your ear pods, all that kind of stuff, just while you're using your laptop, working away, keeping on your device, etc. Happy days. You've got a charger there. So you don't have to worry about having your separate USB type C or your lightning cable or any of those kinds of things. You can literally just plonk it on your wireless charger and it starts charging. Absolutely brilliant. So that for me is one of the key selling points. I love the fact of being able to wireless charge my phone without damaging my ports and all that kind of stuff. So that is very handy indeed. But this actually has an absolute ton of other features which we'll go through now. So on this side, there is the USB type C. So this is your power delivery port. This is gonna provide you up to 100 watts of power delivery. So you can plug in an external brick, power brick into there, and then it will redistribute the signal throughout the box and primarily into this cable into your device. So charge your iPad, uh, charge your iMac, all those kinds of things, Macintosh devices, PC devices. As long as they support power delivery for USB type C, no problems at all. Next up, we've got an HDMI port, so that's gonna support up to 4K 30 hertz. Now this isn't gonna magically give you an HDMI port on a device which doesn't support USB type C without supporting USB type C plus video. That is something which is very important. So you have to have a device which supports it. Now this laptop we've got here, this is our HP 245G8. The USB type C on the side is data only. So it doesn't provide power, doesn't accept power, and it doesn't give an output. So I have actually tried it, and no, it doesn't magically give you a HDMI output 
from a USB if it doesn't actually support it via the chipset. So that is something important to be made aware of. Next up, we've got our card readers. So there's a TF or micro SD. You can put your micro SD cards in there. So if you're maybe a creator and you've got your camera, stick your cards in there, GoPros, that sort of stuff. Next to that, you've got a full size port as well. So you don't have to worry about having an adapter for your micro SD cards. Very handy indeed. This one here is actually very clever indeed. I really do like this. This is a 3.5 mil jack, which supports both the TRS and the TRRS standards. So TRS is your normal headsets or your headphones rather, which is just a normal left and right channel or for a standard microphone, you can plug those in straight away. So when you look at the actual prongs on your jack, you should have kind of three separate sections. If you've got one which has got four, which means you've got combination, headset, audio, mic, all that all into one, not a problem. It automatically senses it and converts it into a USB signal that your computer can recognize. And I have tried this today, both with a regular kind of old fashioned set of iPhone headphones, plug those in straight away, worked fine, microphone fine, headset fine. So if you're gonna use this in combination with some Zoom calls, that sort of thing, certainly you can do that. Or if you wanna use something a little bit more upmarket, like Sennheiser headphones. So if you're working away and listening to your music, isn't a problem, just plug it in into the little jack there. It will know what sort of device it is, whether it's TRS or TRRS. And if you go into your audio settings, you'll find there is a new USB mic and also a new USB headset, which you can choose from as your output device. And you don't worry, you can split them as well. So if you want to maybe listen to the speakers from your laptop or your device, but you want to use the microphone from your headphones or headset, then you can certainly do that just by configuring it in Windows, which gives you an absolute ton of flexibility. Moving on to the back of the device or the end of the device, however you want to kind of put it. There isn't really a front, back or anything, is there? I suppose there is a top. I digress. So this section here, you've got a VGA port. So this is going to support VGA signals 1080p up to 60 hertz. Obviously, again, like I said, it isn't going to magically give you a display output if your chipset doesn't support it. So that is going to be something you're going to need to be wary of. Do bear that in mind. It isn't going to magically give your system outputs that it doesn't already have anyway. This one here is gigabit ethernet. So that is thousand megabits. It also does 10100. So do you want to use a 10100? This again, actually very cool. A lot of laptops these days, especially some of the thinner form factor ones. That's very hard for me to say. Don't always come with a full size jack. So you have to use some kind of dongle or something. So you might as well just use this and then you can leave it all plugged in. Plug in a USB type C when you're done, unplug it, take your laptop to work or whatever. When you get home, plug it all back in and you've got all your peripherals there. Absolutely brilliant. Now on to the other side. So this side, we've got a USB type C. So this is the fast port, so that's a type three. Then you've got a type two, and then you've got your regular USB ports. And actually they put them in there. They're relatively well spaced. I've got a particularly chunky data traveler drive here. So if I plug that into one port there, and I can plug the other one into the one furthest away. And then I've still got room in the middle for my little SanDisk flare, which can just about fit in the middle. They are a little bit on the tight side, the actual gappings there. Realistically, are you going to use kind of three at once? Possibly not. I don't know. Maybe you've got maybe a wireless dongle for a keyboard and mouse that you're going to use with your laptop. Possibly. Again, you can space those out. So even if you had two in there, it still leaves you with another two USB Type C's as well, which you can always get adapters for to convert USB Type C to USB Type A. So I think this is going to offer a lot of flexibility. Some things which I don't like about it, which uh, to be completely honest with you, there isn't many. There's two key things which I think would make this uh, a lot better in my opinion. One of which would be an extension USB type C cable, just so that if you are using this maybe on a desktop PC, you've got a little bit of a longer cable so you can actually reach to USB type C's. I'm guessing realistically, most people are gonna kind of use it with a laptop and with your charging dock there. I would actually quite like to be able to use this on my desktop PC as well. So have this actually on my desk next to my keyboard, and then I can put my phone on there, but then run a cable down to the bottom of my computer. So another meter cable would do it fine. If they include that in the box, I think that'd be an excellent addition. And the only other thing, which is a very minor thing, I would have liked to have seen maybe a rubberized pad on the bottom just to stop it skidding around a little bit. It doesn't move a great deal. The aluminium is a nice finish to it, like a satin finish. So isn't overly shiny and even on an Ikea desk, it doesn't move around a great deal, but I think actually having something on there just to keep it still might have been a nice inclusion. Something which is actually a really good thing is the price on this. Now, surprisingly, considering all the ports you get on here and the fact you've got up to 100 watt power delivery, which not many of these will actually do, 
This comes in at the moment, it's somewhere in the region of about £35 currently on Amazon.co.uk. So yeah, I think for what you actually get, it's very unusual to see the Qi charger built in. And that is something which I particularly like. The audio part of it is excellent. The fact that it also senses is absolutely fantastic. And it just can give maybe a slightly older laptop a little bit more of a lease of life with all the extra components, the flexibility of various outputs, your ethernet, loads of ports. Yeah, it's a very cool device, pretty weighty, feels pretty strong, and it can charge your devices whilst you're actually charging your main device. Absolutely brilliant. So anyway, let me know what you think about this one in the comments section below. Massive shout out and thanks to Ugly Bob again, as per usual. This is actually a very awesome piece of kit, which no doubt, I think Kath's gonna be the one who's gonna get most use of this on her desk, charging her phone and plugging in her headphones when I'm editing. That sounds good to me. So that's gonna wrap this one up. I'll be Mike, this is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.